to a well-designed business. My name is Luann Nigara, and I'm so glad you found this podcast. Together with my husband, Vince, and our partner, Bill, we have grown our company, Window Works, from the ground up. So I know and I understand the challenges you face in running your interior design business. I also know that your talent alone isn't enough to ensure your success. So on this podcast, we talk about strategies and practical steps to help you grow your business. But make no mistake about it, we have our share of fun here too, mixed in with those aha moments that I love so much. This isn't fluff. Nobody has time for that. Whether you are a new interior designer or a seasoned designer, I am here to help you create and to manage the kind of interior design firm that you dream of. It's straight talk and it's action. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of A Well-Designed Business. It's Power Talk Friday, and I am happy to tell you that we have a sponsored show today. Bellacore has reached out to me, and they are interested in talking to you and telling you all about the products and services that they feature for the interior design community. Bellacore is an online company established in 2000. They have the top brands in lighting, decor, furniture, and many of them are your designer favorite brands, okay? Also, they have commercial products as well as residential. Bellacore Pro is the division that we're going to talk about today. And this is their resource for you as the interior design professional to help you on your projects, whether it's a single project for one particular client, or if you're in the commercial side of things and working on multi-unit projects or commercial small boutique hotels, whatever it may be. Here's one of the things that I love about Bellacore Pro. They have a dedicated trade team that helps you specifically with your orders. And you also get a personal account manager who is ALA certified and they're available to help you with all the questions that you might have in sourcing and specifying their products. They have a special trade pricing program, which we're going to talk about, and they have free shipping, which we're going to talk about. So they, right now, Bellacore Pro is welcoming new interior design accounts, new builder accounts, and other trade professionals to join them. So today with me, I have Sarah Safferstein, and she is the director of the Pro Division. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me on A Well-Designed Business today. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here today. I am too, Sarah. So I'm very interested to learn about the details of the Bellacore Pro program. The first thing that it strikes me that grabs my attention and has grabbed me um, with other uh, professionals that we've worked with here, other brands that we've worked with here on the program, is that you have the dedicated account managers that are there. Because I have to tell you, I work with a drapery work robe that's a big drapery workroom. And a lot of people are surprised that I can deliver high-end drapery experience, high-end drapery quality with working with a large workroom. But it's because I insist on a small team, the detailer, the sewing team that are mine within their big operation. And I know how important that is so that my quality is consistent. And when I forget something, they remember it for me because they know who I am. And so is that sort of, tell us about this dedicated trade team for the interior designers. That's exactly what it is. So the best part about our trade team is, first of all, everyone is ALA certified. So when you're calling us for your lighting needs, um, we have experts that are there to answer all of your questions. Although people think that, you know, lighting, although it's beautiful, there's also a lot of complexity to it as well, especially in the last four to five years as LED has come in and changed the industry and what the needs are for each um, specific piece. So all of our all of our account managers are certified um, as ALA. They also have have years of experience. Uh, Josie, who's the head of our, our account management team, has actually been in the lighting um, industry since in college. She started working out of college on the fl- on the showroom floor, and she has a vast um, array of knowledge sh- that her team also shares, um, not only in residential, but also in commercial. So what's the best thing is that you know that you can pick up the phone and you can talk to Lisa, or you know you can pick up the phone and you can talk to Josie, um, and they understand your business. And what happens is we build these partnerships with our interior design community and building builder community that allows them to know 
exactly what they're looking for, how they need to work, how we need to get the product to them, how we can make their lives easier and make their projects run smoothly. So um, we always say that we're here to make their life easier and their next pro- next project a little less of a project. Mm. So that's kind of our motto. Okay. And I like this. This is very important because if you are, whether you're a solo running a firm and you've got a lot of balls in the air and now all of a sudden there's a conundrum having to do with the lighting or whatever it might be, you don't want to waste time talking to somebody who has no idea what you're talking about, that they're just reading Correct. the script. Like, I don't know, there's four in a box. How many do you want? You know what I mean? It's like, Correct. right. And at the same time, if you are the principal of a larger firm, you've tasked your junior designers or your procurement people with getting this information for you. And at the same time, it's, you know, all the knowledge in your head as a more experienced senior principal is not necessarily conferred to your junior or your procurement department. And therefore, you need to know that when they call a company, that that company is going to be reliable and knows the information and not leads. You know, it's a, it's a matter of what you don't know. You don't know can sometimes get you in trouble, right? Correct. And there's so many details involved with many, many projects that not having to worry about some of those details helps make your project run smoother. So our goal is to really be that partner with our interior design community so that they know that they can count on Bellacore and they can count on our account management team to give them the service level and expertise that they need to, again, make it easier. That's Mm -hmm. the whole goal. Mm -hmm. It's true. And it's interesting because you told us about Josie's experience, how she um, has been doing this 18 years. Tell us a little bit because I I mean, I'm just meeting you and I can already hear (laughs) you're super passionate about this. It's like, yeah, I love it. (laughs) So tell us about your experience, Sarah. You know, I... um, I have an industrial design degree from Carnegie Mellon. I graduated a long time ago, 24 years ago. And my first job, I I was um, doing um, design and product development for a small decorative accessory company. And I remember being put on a plane to the Philippines and Asia um, six months after graduating. um, Mm -hmm. And I had no idea what I was in for. But what I was in for was a love of the home decor industry, of the lighting industry. So... um, That love has allowed me to travel around the world, developing product and uh, retail strategies and merchandising strategies for small companies, um, large companies. I was fortunate to be with Target for years and and traveled all over the world with them. Um, And at the same time, I've also been on the manufacturing side of things, and I've been on the retail side of things. So I really understand the industry. Um, I'm passionate about home decor, just as passionate as my account management team and the team here that's dedicated to all of our pros. Okay. So yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> I hardly know you and I can hear it. So that's good. <laughs> yes, definitely. It's fun to do- talk and be with people who enjoy what they're doing. So that's awesome. So, so tell me now we're, we're focusing on the lighting at this point in the conversation. There are yeah. several brands that you have available through the Bellacore Pro pr- platform. Would you tell us about some of the items and the, and the products and the categories that you have? Yeah. So um, lighting is, uh, as I mentioned, we started out of a lighting showroom. And so lighting is kind of the backbone of our business. At the same time, we also sell furniture and decor. So within lighting, uh, we actually have access to over 500 different brands. But some of our designer favorites are Hinkley, Sonneman, Feiss, um, Uttermost, Generation Brand Lighting, Visual Comfort. Um, And on the furniture side, we work with people like... um, hooker furniture, noir furniture. We work with uh, designer favorites, interiors that has both lighting and furniture. We work with a number of LED specialty companies, companies like Kuzco and Tech Lighting. Um, so we really have a wide range of um, of manufacturers that we work with. The advantage for our interior design community is that we understand what their needs are so we can help tailor an assortment to what their needs of their project are. And we know the ins and outs of all of these different brands. So whether it be a very technical need or more of a decorative need, we can really gear um, the selection to what makes sense for that project. Okay. And so this is the idea is that it is a place to come and compare products across different manufacturers and brands and see what fits for your project. Have you guys there as a little bit of a help and helping hand in navigating that. But 
The other thing is there's people that are listening, designers that are listening, like, well, I'm already ordering arteriors. I'm already ordering visual comfort. Why would I go here? Yep. And I, I agree. If you can get some brands that you have direct relationships with, we understand that. But there are many other brands that you may not have access to or you don't have that longstanding relationship for. And maybe you need something different for a project. We can be that resource as well. So maybe you have a project that um, involves much more recess lighting or some specific um, details that you just don't have the knowledge of. We can, again, help um, on that good, better, best spectrum work with you with a manufacturer on a product line that makes sense for that project. So we totally acknowledge that, yes, a lot of our um, interior designers will buy arteriors direct from arteriors, okay. um, but they might come to us for some other opportunities. Okay. And so, and the thing is, you know, look, we often will recommend that when a designer is building their business, that it makes sense that if they select a handful, a little tiny handful of go-to resources so that they can be important to, instead of buying 16 sofas this coming year from 10 different vendors, to sort of see if there's a two or three sources that are really have enough of a range within the aesthetic that you love so that you can be a bigger fish to smaller people. And what you're saying is, so maybe one of your brands isn't where you're a big fish, but you'd still like to buy it at trade level. And is it, it's going to be less expensive for an interior designer? Like if I've never ordered from Visual Comfort ever before, they don't know me from Adam, I'm going to get a better uh, price point by going through you because of your volume and buying power. Is that the idea? Yeah, you will get our trade pricing with any of our manufacturers. So, um, you know, as I mentioned, we have a we have a gated site. Um, so if you're shopping online through bellacorepro.com, you have to have a password and a login. If you're calling our account management team, you have to be part of our trade program. Not anyone can pick up the phone and call our trade dedicated line and get answers. We That's need cool. to make sure that they are part of our program. So we'll verify their, um, their membership to our program per se. Um, and yeah, so at the same time, if they're just like many uh, interior designers or many people shop at different um, retailers or different wholesalers. We're one of those options too. The, the, as you start to work with us more, um, we can help leverage our buying power and our abilities to give you better pricing. Okay. 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 So, I mean, we're not talking about going all the way. We're not talking about accessing stocking dealer pricing. That's not this. It's just a better price point than if you are if you don't have an account and you you don't have the ability probably the better uh, advantage is not needing to hit a minimum is that the case do we not need to hit minimums in any one category there is no minimums on any categories and we actually offer free shipping um, no minimums on any purchase yeah see that's I just realized that's where the rub is right so maybe pricing is similar but if I'm going direct to some of those manufacturers and I'm a smaller firm I might not be able to hit that minimum so that, that closes that door to me but the door opens Correct. over here at Bellacor Correct. Okay. 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 I like it. And now there's free shipping. Correct. We have free shipping on all of our orders. Okay. And so how does this work? So if I have free shipping and say I'm not doing a big reveal install, I'm, I'm doing a, a, a simple room and we're delivering products as they come, or I am having it delivered to my studio or something. What, what is the deal with receiving it, inspecting it? it? Maybe I don't open it for three weeks and the, the electrician goes to put it up and there's something cracked. Cause you know me, if it's a pain, I don't want to do it. Like if you if you don't make it easy <laughs> for me, I, I'm, I'll pay more money. That's frankly yeah. what I'll do. <laughs> Our goal is to make it easy for you. So mm -hmm. let's say you get, um, boxes in from various places and you don't have time to go through it for three weeks, we have an extended return policy with our uh, with our trade members. So um, you can call us if you open the box uh, a month later and it's broken, um, then we'll obviously exchange it. Um, if somebody has, you know, so we're, we will work with you on that. We say we have a flexible return policy. Um, you know, for our consumer side, it's, it's 30 days. And after that, we have other policies in place. But for our design community, we understand Understand that not everything comes in and gets installed that same day. So we do offer flexibility in our returns. Okay. See, that's important. 
I'm going to tell you why. Because even in my industry, window treatments, we will often order hard treatments, blinds, shades, shutters, things like that, that come in in two, three weeks. But the drapes don't come in sometimes. Look, they could be eight weeks if everything's smooth. It could be 15 weeks, 16 weeks if there was an element, a trim, or something that was back ordered. And I literally have had hard treatment manufacturers say to us, oh, well, you got that six months ago, and if it's damaged, we're not going to, I'm like, no, 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 see, nah, -uh, not happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what, what am I doing out here? I'm waiting six months with something that's damaged, and now I don't want to complete my installation. I'm just doing this for fun and games. Like, I'm not out here trying to make trouble. And so if a vendor or a manufacturer doesn't understand that our industry has all different lead times and everything is going to possibly be staged or installed at the same same time, that might mean I've got your damaged thing for several weeks or months. You have to understand yeah. that, right? And I think we definitely try to understand it. Um, it is hard on the on the retailer side for something to be sitting there for six months. Um, so we always ask that if you can check it and make sure that it's you know okay prior to that. That's always helpful. But there are those times where we have to work with our with our clients on on out of the box experiences, yes, so yes. to say. Well, so. I'm glad to hear you say that because honestly, if I'm a designer and I've got somebody saying, well, I can order that light by myself. What do I need you for? If I've decided that this is part of my business model to do procurement, I would love to be able to say, right, but we're going to order the light and we're not going to install it for 60 days. And if at 30 days you've ordered it for yourself and it's damaged, you're done. But see, I'm a pro yeah. and I get that special treatment. And I think for our pros, we, we definitely extend our return policy. Um, again, we like to be in communication with our design community. So if there's something that's going to be outside of what we think is kind of a norm, we would want to partner with them up front on that. But right. in general, I hear you. Look, it's not a blanket. General, it's not <laughs> I, a blanket. I, you're you're very blanket. good being answering my hard questions nicely. <laughs> no, uh, I hear you, Sarah. I hear you. You're saying don't take advantage of us. That's what I hear you saying between the lines that we're going to work with you if there's a situation we honestly can understand that everybody has done what they can possibly do. We're not going to just close the door. But please don't on a regular basis wait six months to open stuff and tell me every time it's broken. I hear you. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so again, we would definitely, you know, there's times where we have clients that install something and it's not working properly. Um, some of our, some of the pieces can be very complex. Um, and so, you know, we'll work with our manufacturer. We'll get a, someone technical. We've, we've connected the electrician with a technical person from our manufacturer if we can't answer the question. So our goal is to exceed expectations and mm -hmm. to be that resource for you. So I, I think we will think outside of the box to try to help to make sure that that purchase is, you know, successful for everyone but there are times where we try our best and we just we may not we, we may not be able to help you <laughs> right right well and I, you know what it is and it's really my point to the hard treatment vendor when it happens I'm like when's the last time I called you and said this like this isn't protocol for us this is not normal but when it happens exactly. you have to take care of it that's how it is you know what I'm saying exactly. and it's a long-term relationship <laughs> exactly. so I agree I agree with you <laughs> so no I mean that's you know one of the things you know of being in the trade that you express your value to your client you know we're out here my designers are out here they're doing business and they it's a new world you know it's a new world everybody's ordering everything online we're all googling everything yeah. and trying to get it at the best but it's adding value to what we do as professionals to our consumer you know facing clientele and you know it's it, you it, we have to have it and expect it of you guys as too so of, that's not english of you guys as well <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. I mean, and again, because of our dedicated team, you can pick up the phone and talk to somebody that you know. Yes. So you That's have a question, part. a challenge, you can pick up the phone and talk to your account manager. Yes. Um, and if they can't get you right away, they'll get back to you quickly. And so that's the advantage in this, in this challenging, uh, you know, time where our industry is changing at all, all the time. How do you make sure that you're that you have a relationship with someone um, where it used to be the showroom down the street, but that showroom maybe isn't there anymore? So it's like we're your showroom on, you know, that you can pick up the phone and call and get the service that you need. Absolutely. So that's really where where we want to be there for you. Yeah, that's the secret sauce right there, Sarah. That's the secret sauce right there, because that's the truth. If I'm dealing with you on a regular basis, then I know if you're going to give me good service. And if it's happened once or twice or three times and you know 
know me, you know my name. The beauty of our platform is if you have, if you're in the middle of the night and you can't sleep because of some job that's giving you a headache, um, you're up shopping online, you can go shop Bellacore Pro online. But then the next morning you can pick up the phone and talk to your account manager and finish that transaction or ask that question. So you can do different things. You can be out on a site and pull up your iPad and, and shop if you need to. But if you're not finding what you need or that's too, taking up too much time, you can pick up the phone and call or vice versa. Mm -hmm. You know, you can call us and say, this is what I'm looking for. Can you put together a bid for me? And we'll say, sure, we'll get it to you by this time and we'll get you a bid. So then you'll see a picture of everything. You'll see all the details. So we can work with what makes sense for how you're working day to day on a project. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the other thing is that we really understand our design community. We help with additional education. We offer CEUs throughout the year that are free to our design community. We partner with our manufacturers to bring in really unique um, topics. Uh, last year, we did a number of CEUs that were all talking about LED lighting and really understanding not only the history of LED, but what, what types of LED to use in different settings. And it was fascinating to be on the call and listening to all of our design community asking questions mm -hmm. of our expert about what type of lighting should be used in a kitchen. If my client wants to feel like this, what lighting temperature color should I be using? What makes the most sense? And these are very complex. I know it doesn't sound like it, but it is. Oh, no, these are very yeah. complex. And, and our interior designers are working on a ton of parts of their project. They may not have all of the knowledge that they need. So our goal also is to help them continue their education and be value added in that way as well. And so that's interesting. So the CEUs are held via a uh, conference call. They are. They're, they're via via conference call, and um, you we give you a time. It's typically about an hour and a half, two hours of your time, um, and you get continuing education credits for it as well. And we offer a variety of topics. One of our topics last year was about manufacturing. Um, a lot of our interior designers haven't traveled all over the world. They don't understand what it what the manufacturing process is and what they need to understand about maybe a bulk purchase or a special project that maybe they need something additional we understand how to work with what manufacturers can do larger scale projects custom orders you know all of those sort of details we can help facilitate that as well but it was good for them to understand how does something get from a factory floor to their client's house mm. so it was really interesting that is interesting. I that's I you know it's I I knew that you guys did the CEUs but I just made the assumption that it's the traveling dog and pony show and you've got to go to local showrooms but how how convenient. And, and, and you know, it probably, this is what I always say, the designer probably say like, Luann, this is not rocket science. Everybody <laughs> does this. Like, I, don't, I never heard of it before. <laughs> but I mean, lighting is a bear. I mean, we are in the middle of a several hundred thousand dollar renovation at Window Works right now. Yeah. And I literally just said to Kim last week, what are we going to do with the lighting in the showroom? And she just looked at me. We both rolled our eyes because her and I renovated our showroom seven years, eight, seven or eight years ago. And we thought we nailed it with the lighting. We were so happy. You know, did we go get any help from anybody? Uh-uh. No, we did not. Are either one of us lighting experts? No, we are not. And it was never, it looked good, but it was never the right quality as far as the, the the light in the space like I'd be yep. like I can't see anything in here and so she just we just looked at each other we're like this is our next our next bear and I'm thinking huh I could call Bellacor. <laughs> I, I was going to say, send me your plans. I'll take a look at them and help you out. I See, and that's, that's the cool thing because, again, for a seasoned designer who has developed an expertise in lighting, I mean, I don't know if you know Charles Pavarini the third and Pavarini Designs. He is a master at lighting. That has been one of the specialties within the thread of his 30-plus year design firm where he always has taken special attention to the different layers of light that he puts into each room and the ultimate project I mean the furnishings the draperies the colors the textiles are always gorgeous but man oh man does he it's like the icing on the cake the way he lights a project and the truth is if you have that expertise awesome maybe you get another up level by talking with you guys but there's so many designers that you know it really is just like well a light is a light it looks pretty right like it's a lot of detail and complication to specify the proper lighting and lighting makes all the difference in someone's home. Yes. Like it's the way they feel and certain 
families may like a certain color light or a certain um, visual light. You know, I was working with a client who has some incredibly high end, um, um, one of his clients had some incredibly high end artwork and he wanted a certain kind of light to light this artwork. And it was very complex. So it wasn't just sticking up a light and calling it a day. Um, and so we had to understand how this client wanted the, what the final outcome it needed to be for this. So it's, you know, and the other thing that we do is we're always doing, um, providing, trying to provide value add to our designers. So last year when we partnered with ASID, we sent out an, um, an article about uh, the sleep and wake cycle and how light impacts the sleep and wake cycle. Mm. Um, and so again, it's, those are those things that you're talking about someone's home or their residence or their work environment where they're there, how many hours a day? Mm. So how does, how do these things impact how they feel, how they perform? You know, you want to walk into your showroom when it opens, when it reopens and yes. you want to feel like wow, this is where I want to be every day. It's not gloomy. It's not right. dull. It's you truth. know, it's exciting. People walk in and go, I want to capture this in my house. That's so right. So again, those are the expertise. And our, I talked about our account management team. We also have a team that's working on large scale projects, um, you know, multifamily housing units. We're working on um, hotel projects, boutique and, um, you know, uh, a large brand uh, hotel project. So again, mm. we have this understanding of what's going on in the industry, not only on the residential side and the decorative side, but also the commercial side. Mm. So I'm sure we'll talk about your showroom after this. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So one of the other things that I noticed is part of, and we're sort of talking about it because of all the help and the support that's available on the pro side, but specifically if a designer has found some lighting for a project that they absolutely love and it turns out that it's out of the price point for the project is going to throw the budget out or the client has just said ixnay I'm not spending that kind of money on a chandelier or whatever it might be they yep. also can just simply call your pro team and say this is what I love you know yep. how can I you know fit this aesthetic this style this quality and save some dollar bills right and that, uh, that's what we actually, those are the most fun projects to be quite honest with you. Wow. So when a designer says to us, this is the look I'm going for, this is the price point I need to be at. We have so many op options that we can put together a, a, you know, a plan that says, this is option A, this is option B. This is if you want to spend X, this is if you want to spend, you know, Y. So uh, that, that's where like that gets me going, you know, when I can kind of dig into not just picking or working on a uh, product that they always necessarily select. Right, I love just when order I get taking, to right? Use, right. Yeah. Instead, you're creativity. resourcing. Correct. Yes. Well, you know, it's really interesting about that because it had just occurred to me that whether you're a bigger firm or a smaller firm, you're basically sourcing. And that's like, I don't have to spend money on my junior at X amount of dollars an hour for that research when it gets kicked back. We're not saying that we're going to like actually have you as our extended team for every little thing, right? But I mean, really, if I had just made a presentation and the lighting got kicked back, instead of my kids sitting there in on the internet, you know, going back and forth from every little thing to call you and get your professional opinion and to know that you're super happy and excited and delighted to provide alternate a b and c that saves us a lot of hours in the in the firm it saves you a lot of hours and and again if you have a client that really wants a certain look but they can't afford can't afford that look that's kind of the dream you want to give them that look so they walk into that final product and go wow and they don't they don't have any idea that that was you know that that wasn't the original kind of inspiration you know like right. people with all of all of the technology that we have and we know that our designers are using platforms like pinterest we know that our clients are using uh, platforms like pinterest um that everyone aspires to something and we can help bring that look at the price point that you need I love it. I love and it. And so that's one of the advantages. The other end of it is you mentioned that you will help designers uh, work on bigger projects. So maybe they've got a 15-story building or something. And to your point, they can say, this is a lighting, a light that I've used in residential. And of course, it's not going to be appropriate to specify a product at this level for 15 floors with 100 units on every floor, but what would be the value engineered comparison to this, right? Correct. And um, value engineering is something that we do daily on those larger projects. And, it, um, you know, a lot of times we'll work with um, 
uh, a developer's architecture team, and they only know uh, five brands per se, mm. but they don't know that similar product, even better quality product in some cases at a better price point is available from a different brand. We work with a brand um, on a com the commercial side that manufactures everything here in the United States, but they have phenomenal pricing. So we can sometimes save our clients money and um, on a project a lot of times because we know about this kind of off brand that when it's in the ceiling, nobody cares whether it's, you know, X, Y, Z brand. Right. So again, we have those expertise or maybe it's about that this type of product is there's some requirements from some, if it's a commercial space for some legal reasons, but it's so expensive. Can we, can we meet the requirements that we need, but at a different price point? So that's where our expertise comes in as well. Okay. What I love about this, Sarah, is that I think Look, the elephant in the room is the whole, the way the industry is changing and that consumers have access to online products. They have access to a lot of the same products that designers have um, access to. And even with trade programs like yours. So in your lighting, you're going to be 15 to 20 percent. The trade program is going to be 15 to 20 percent less than the consumer pricing. Am I correct? Correct. On average. Yes. On average. Right. And so some of the other product offerings that you have, furniture and decor items may have different percentages that are available. Look, when you have hundreds and hundreds of brands, obviously the discount structure is not going to be the same. It's not like this one boom discount structure for every product. But the point is, is that in our world, you know, 15 to 20% isn't like, yay, I'm getting rich, run into the bank, right? I mean, let's be real, right. okay? However, because the world has changed and business has changed, what I'm hearing, you know, how much lower can you go? Your business model has changed as well too. And what I'm hearing is that you are providing exactly what we are always here on the show, myself and the various guests that I have on the show, truly trying to hammer home to the design community is that you have to add the layer of service and the layer of value to the commodity that you're selling so that the person out there thinks twice. So for instance, in your case, a consumer has to return it in 30 days. Sorry, Correct. that's our policy. We don't yep. have to tell you, lady. Get over yourself, right? But the designer has a little bit leeway. They can have a rational conversation. They can explain the extenuating circumstances. And you're going to make a per case decision on what the circumstances warrant, right? And it's Correct. the same with this. It's like if I, when I hear that I can come to a project, maybe have the possibility of doing, maybe I'm a fairly new designer, but I have the pot. What if somebody had my showroom? This is light commercial space. It's a 2000 square foot space. It's not this huge multi-story thing. But what if I said to a designer, what am I going to do with lighting here? Instead of just winging it and like walking into the highway store and picking lighting like we did that doesn't, isn't appropriate. That designer can up level their service by accessing your services because you're up leveling your service to them you're not just a click and buy service you're adding the value right correct correct and you know again it kind of goes back to what we've been talking about earlier but you know we do add value and at the same time if you come to us and say i'm working on this project and it's and and we can source it from a, a manufacturer that maybe we can get an additional discount than what we offer typically mm -hmm. so we're going to work with you um to 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 provide you with the best product at the best price. Yeah. And so, you know, we're very conscientious that margins across everyone have gotten smaller and smaller. And so, um, you know, you may decide that being able to provide all of the fixtures and decorative accessories, that's value added to your business. Um, and you may have, and so you're going to do that. And so we all know that we're all working tighter on our margins, but we also want to provide you with the best pricing. Um, and you know, well, if you find something somewhere else, unfortunately that does happen from time to time, we'll match that pricing. Oh. Um, so, but we try to be very conscientious of what's happening out there. We also offer exclusive opportunities for just our, um, our trade community. So where we'll offer an additional discount off of certain brands for certain times. Um, you know, we try to keep you up to date on what's new. We know that a lot of the design community can't travel to trade shows like they used to, um, time and money, et cetera. Um, and so we try to bring those trends to you. We try to highlight 
to you what's happening new with all these manufacturers and different brands. And so we really want to make sure that you are exposed to the larger industry in whole. Yeah. And not I, just in furniture, but also in, not just in lighting, also in the furniture side. In the side. furniture side as well. Yeah. I think what it is, is, is that there is a, a there's an argument to be made that maybe you've come across Bellacore before. Maybe as a design professional, you're aware. Maybe you're aware they have a pro program, but maybe you haven't explored it. And I have to say what my thing is, is that the, the aha moment is if I were a design professional and I needed a resource like Bellacor and I came across it. Somebody said, Oh, look at Bellacor. And all I did was go on my computer and I looked you up and I saw, Oh, there's a trade program. Maybe I was able to figure out what the discounts are. Maybe it's there or not, but I'm going to make an assumption. There's a trade program. There's a discount, right? I yep. might just stop there. I might just say, well, whatever. These are brands that I can get anywhere. But the thing about it is the aha moment is understanding that as an online e-tailer, you understand the competition out there. You understand the complexities that have been added to businesses, that the interior design business. And instead of just saying, yeah, everybody's racing to the bottom with the lowest price, you're doing exactly what we're trying to help the interior designer do is figure out ways that it's not just the product. It's the help. It's the advice. It's the service. It's the convenience. It's the education. It's the the, the one-on-one uh, human connection to being able to speak to somebody and get real answers, right? I mean, that's that's exactly what we're trying to do as designers, differentiate, differentiate ourselves as people that deliver a full experience. And that's what I'm hearing with Bellacore, and I think that's pretty cool. That's what we want to be. That that puts it in a nutshell, that full experience. You know, I mean, that's really what we want to be. We know the marketplace is a lot more crowded. We've been doing this. We Bellacore started in 2000. Bellacore Pro launched a few years later, around 2004. We've been doing this a long time. There wasn't as many competitors in the marketplace. So we have to continually evaluate how are we value added? How do we... Um, make that connection with our design community. And we are focused on the interior designer, on the residential home builder. You know, we're focused on understanding their needs, what's happening in the industry um, at large, and offering that the best opportunity, the best product, not just products, but overall service that we can. Right. That's what we do every day. I love it. I love it. And there's another component of it that I just realized I hadn't brought up is that you will – uh, hold stuff in your warehouse. So if somebody is a designer that does a reveal, you can they can place their orders for lighting at whatever the appropriate time is, but you will uh, hold the product in your warehouse and wait for delivery for when they accept they, they want it. Is that correct? We do have a warehouse facility. Yes, we can utilize that um, on projects. We have to partner with the designer up front to make sure we understand the time, all of those de details. But yes, we do have a warehouse here in, in the Twin Cities area that we do utilize and we do stage. Correct. Okay. Because that's important too, especially... Again, like I just used the example, it, it, if, it, if I, even just window treatments, one comes in two weeks, one comes in 12 weeks, but for an, a full service luxury project, that's 8, 10, 12 months in a part. And maybe they don't want the lighting to be back ordered, the lighting to be discontinued. And, but what are, we, what are they going to do with it for eight months or 10 months or something, right? Correct. And there are, you know, again, we, that's kind of, we have to specify what that is, but we have, <laughs> we, we, I'm like, all she's of a sudden, dancing I'm now. Be, <laughs> I'm going to do returns later. And I'm <laughs> for a year. Oh my God. You're of great. Course. I hear it. Okay. Okay. Case by case basis. <laughs> call up, but that's the thing. They're human beings. You can call up and explain the circumstances. Way to go, Sarah. She's like, oh, Luann. Oh. Luann, Wait, Luann, 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 don't Luann. just give it all away from me, please. <laughs> that's awesome, Sarah. No, I, I hear you. Again, don't abuse, understand, but that's really the bottom line of this. You can call and have a conversation conversation and you'll say that won't work maybe this will work for you that won't work for us could I offer that I hear it right correct correct <laughs> correct 
I mean, I love the ideas. I got to just change. I got to think through it a little bit more. Right, right. We got 5,000 designers, and now all of a sudden you're in the warehouse business. <laughs> and all it is is, wait, it went from one warehouse where it wasn't sold to another warehouse where it's all sitting there sold, right? Right, right exactly. <laughs> Not a good business but- model. Man, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Okay. But I, you know what? B- mostly the biggest message is, is that what I'm hearing when you're trying to answer the question is that you're willing to have the conversation. That's all. We're Correct. not saying you're going to give it all away every time, but you're willing to have the conversation. And that's what's important because, you know, we're all accustomed to calling and just hearing. I mean, I've said to customer service people on the phone, stop reading the script. Start digesting what I'm actually asking you. Like you keep Correct. asking a question Correct. and they keep answering Correct. the and other we one. Do, we do have we have these abilities, so yes. we will we will definitely utilize them to the, to the best of our ability on that project. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Because there's nothing more infuriating than that, right? Oh, hi. I would like four blue items. Yes, we have three red items, items available for you today. Would you like to purchase? No, I want four blue items. Blue. The red blue, items are blue. ready to ship right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. So... Uh, really, really good stuff. I, are, I'm going to ask you, is there something else that we should know about Bellacore that we possibly didn't express in the interview today, Sarah? You know, I think, I think we've, I think we've covered it, Luann. I, I, you know, I feel that, that we really talked about what the advantages, what we call Bellacore Pro Advantage. And, uh, you know, I think as you're part of our community, um, you become part of our, of our extended community. Um, those are the relationships that we love building. Um, and we call them high value, high touch. So I want to make sure that we have that relationship with our clients that is high value, high touch. Um, and that kind of sums it up in a nutshell. I love it. I love it. And what I really love is I you know, sort of said it, but I'll say it again, is taking something that just looks like this big online w- store and really understanding that there's human beings there and that there's human Correct. beings that actually are invested in helping the interior designer run their business better. And there are really very finite ways that you do that. It's not just a line that you say between the dedicated account managers, which I personally know how important that is in our businesses, the CEU offerings that you do, free shipping, that you're actually interested in coming to solutions, resolving things and thinking out of the box on that random case by case basis where it doesn't fit the norm. And that is super, super important. And then of course, the ability to possibly access lines that we might not be able to meet the minimums for the opening buys or maintain the minimum yearly buys. And so there's value in that whole avenue right there. And I love that you protect it to the trade, right? I mean, honestly, Sarah, I can't tell you how many times I've called a trade showroom and said, hi, can I get a net price on X, Y, Z? And they're like, sure. What's the pattern? And I'm like, oh my God. And then give me the price. And I'm just like, oh, really? Because I could have been anybody. And there is nothing more infuriating that when a trade source does not protect the trade. So I appreciate that even for a phone call that you have to establish who you are until possibly I'm sure that they know who you are. It's like, hi, I'm Sally Smith. And you're like, hey, Sally, how are you today? (laughs) Correct. Correct. And I think that that's really important. We we understand how challenging – it is. And so we want to protect our clients just like they want to protect their business and our business too. So it's a win-win situation for all, but we do make sure that um, if you're registering online or if you're talking to our account management team and you want to set up account, we verify that you actually are part of the trade. This isn't just for someone we get, we get moms who think they're decorators all the time. (laughs) Um, And, and, and that's great. Um, but that's not who we service. Right. Exactly. I love it. I love it so much. I think it's awesome. Um, I really do appreciate your coming here and I appreciate that it's the industry is changing and we're all dealing with it. And I I don't have the crystal ball. I I have a conversation every single week on the showroom. One person who thinks the whole online availability and everything is awesome. Another person who is just devastated that the industry is dead as we knew it. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go, but I do know that 
for us as individual business owners, the only way we can ever compete is by giving what only we can give, giving our extra service and value. And to have the conversation with you, Sarah, and understanding that that's Bellacore's mission as well is, yes, we have this entire, you know, thousands and thousands of, of SKUs available to you. But really, when you come to Bellacore, you're coming for not the commodity, but the service, the experience, and the help and assistance and resource that the interior design firm needs. And so that's awesome to understand and know that. I appreciate so much that you took your time to share that with all of us. And what 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 do you want designers to do, Sarah? How do they learn more about the Bellacore Pro program and how do you want them to find you? So there are two ways that they can um, learn more about Bellacore Pro. So you can log on to www.bellacorepro.com. Um, um, if you ha- happen to go on to just bellacore.com, you want to make sure that you're clicking the trade professional button. You can register there. So if you are not registered, you can go fill out our online registration. You, we will review every application and approve or or deny in some cases mm-hmm. um, every um, registration within 24 to 48 hours of um, of, uh, registration. Once you're registered, um, you can shop online. You can call our account management team. If you prefer not to register online, you just want to call our account management team. You can call our 1-800 number, which is 1-877-688-7039. And one of our account managers will help you register. So we can take care of that process for you. Um, and then once you've, once you're a part of our pro membership, you'll start receiving our email communication. You'll see, um, our social media postings. Um, if you are a member of ASID, we are a, a very active member of ASID as well. We send out multiple emails. We offer their CEUs. So once you're uh, part of our pro community, you'll start have accessing to all of that information as well. That's awesome. That is just absolutely awesome. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me today, Sarah. Thank you for sponsoring the episode. We appreciate it. And I am looking forward to seeing if designers are enjoying the Bellacore Pro program. I'm going to be starting, I'm going to start asking them. <laughs> I hope so. And if not, they know my name, right? They can call me. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Thank you very much, Luann. I appreciate the time. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining me again today. This podcast is a production of Window Works, your resource for custom window treatments and awnings. To learn how we can help you on your next interior design project, go to www.windowworks-nj.com. And if you're interested in working with me on your business, either through masterminds or one-on-one coaching, or you want to know how to get my book, The Making of a Well-Designed Business, or you just want to know what's going on in the podcast land, and where I'm going to be. All of that is found at luannnigara.com. Thank you so much. Have an excellent day.